Hi, a uh, bit of an update on my uh, bike I've been using for distance riding lately. My Smokestone bow tie, giving it a bit of a spruce up. Every bike needs a service, so mine's getting one right now. And I just thought I'd just run over what I uh, have found to work and, and whatever. Um, I run a blue toe on the front of mine. Uh, I have got another bike with Mastodons on. And if you're a, 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 an aggressive or a serious mountain biker and you've got a fat bike, then probably Mastodons are the better fork. They're a much better quality, much stiffer. Um, everything about them is, is, is better. But if you just want something to give you some suspension um, that's lighter, then to me, the blue toe is, is pretty much out there. I mean, there are other, you can run a loaf, uh, loaf fork, but myself, I just prefer, I've got them, I suppose, say he's buying anything else, but just a simple blue toe. I've taken my rigid forks on and off so many times and I always come back because when you're off, obviously I've got a fat bike, so I'm going to go bike packing or long distance riding over any terrain. So I just need a bit of suspension now and again. So anyway, that was that. Uh, run the um, Essential Mud Hugger, the Fat Hugger. Always run these, absolutely brilliant. Keep all the muck out of your, out of your face. The other thing you'll notice, which uh, you may have seen before in my videos or, or whatever, is I run the Richie Coyote handlebars. They're um, absolutely brilliant. You look at them and most people will go, oh my God, he's got a shopping bike or he's got a, that's a bit of an old man's bike. These handlebars, forget what they look like. You get used to it. Um, they come in 800 wide. These are cut to 760. You've got a 27 degree back sweep, 35 mil rise. But what I love is you've got the perfect hand position for distance or for, yeah, for bike packing or distance. You know, you see Jones bars, but to me, they're a little bit, they come right back, a little bit too much of a sweep. These are the, the perfect hand position for a relaxed hand because your hand sits at an angle on a bike. Um, so, yeah, that's that. You've got room in here for a bag. I mean, we do. Uh, a couple of bags now that fit in there uh, you've got plenty of space you've got a cruise position in the middle here i take what i do now is i take my bars i've got some reusable silicon bar tape that i run over here so i can move my hands around when i'm when i'm doing the distance riding um components on my bike you can see apart from the fact they're all orange they're all hope uh smokestone now all of our bikes we build with hope components throughout pretty much um, in fact, I think they are 100% Hope now. So, bar the seat clamp. Um, you got. I've got a Hope bottom bracket. I put Hope cranks in here. Sat there with a with a um, oval chain ring, Hope chain ring. Um, headset, brakes, all the rest of it. A uh, little thing about bottom brackets. We've had a few issues with Hope drive side cups with the thread going because you run t if you run two spacers drive side and one on the non. Um, the threads in here can wear out on the cup the cup literally the threads start to go and we've had a few issues so what i've done or i've been trying on a couple of bikes is leave the spaces out completely and do what sram have done with dub and put spaces externally of the bottom bracket so we've got some 30 mil spaces which we slide on outside of the bottom bracket and it works perfectly um you can fine tune it as well then so we're selling those now i'm going to put those as you can see on this bike i've just taken my bottom bracket out it's a nice clean look now, no spacers. You've got a lot more thread going into the frame, so we're not going to get any issues. Um, I'm having a bit of an up, I'm having a swap. I am, I must say, I am a Shimano man. I'm a Shimano fan, to be honest. So I've, I've had um, SRAM GX on this bike since the day I built it, 12 speed. Um, and I've got on okay with it. I just don't like the shifter where you can't, you know, with a, with a Shimano shifter, you can shift both ways at the front uh, with a SRAM you can't it's a little bit annoying when you're on a long distance and you've got your hand there so I've done an upgrade I've had uh, so I've had my GX for quite some time it's still running it's in a box over there I'm going to put it on another bike because we use because we use squirt lube the chain is still fine the cassette's still fine chain rings nothing's worn out um, squirt lube is the savior of your drivetrain if you haven't learned that yet you need to anyway that's another story um, so I've gone for uh, because I can uh, XTR, uh, so I've got XTR shifter and rear mech and cassette going on and um, cassette is a, you probably know, know already from the media that you've got the, 
1051 setup so got that on with my micro spline and um, also about my wheels i run head carbon rims super super light 410 grams of rim these wheels weigh nothing probably lighter than most um, enduro wheels that you'll get out there i also run on the back of this bike um, which has become a bit of a revelation is a terravale coronado tire um, 26 by 4 it's got a light and supple case and it's just a, a really really underrated you don't hear anything about these underrated tire you'd you'd look at it and go oh it hasn't got enough tread but um i can assure you it has uh, this tread works it's it's comes from their gravel tire they do a gravel version of this in um, 2.8 and um, i initially thought this would be fine for a bit of dry trail but i've run it on and off road uh wet and dry no issues at all no slipping or sliding i mean i took it out last obviously it was on my bike on my ride on sunday last week when i did the ride down to bath and bristol uh and have some really rocky muddy climbs and it was absolutely fine it's much lighter it's about similar weight to a jumbo gym it rolls as well as a jumbo gym it's got more grip than a jumbo gym and obviously more tread um so it's a fantastic tire i think but rear only you cannot run this on the front because it self steers really badly um, I'm going to have a word with, uh, with Terraville and see whether they can come up with a better front tyre. But I love this as a rear. goes tubeless really well. No, no seeping in the side walls. So excellent choice. We've got some in stock. We're going to get some more. Um, I'm going to pop one on another bike I've got because I just love it so much. And I'm going to try and run one through the winter just to see how it copes. Front tyre I always run a Surly Edna. It's the best front tyre. Um, Surly know what they're doing when it comes to tyres. These have got really, really good side knobs on the front for steering and off-camber stuff. So nice and quiet. It's got ramped knobs. All the knobs in the centre here are ramped, so it's quieter. Both tyres, the bike rolls much quieter than um, than it would, say, with Nate's on or, or, or several other tyres. So uh, there you go. Uh, I think that's about everything. I'm just, um, say, giving the bike a service. And um, oh, the other thing I will mention is this saddle, if you're ever thinking about what you want to try for a saddle this we found um i got a, a specialized saddle from uh, my great buddy lee fancourt and um i still got it and i popped it on a bike and i found it was really comfortable and um this is almost a copy of it of the specialized saddle and everyone who's tried this we we lend the saddle out if someone's going oh you know what, i need to try a saddle out lend them this nine times out of ten they'll come back and buy one don't know what it is it's just it's shorter than normal as you can see it's not that big my hands you know um and it just works so it's worth a try worth a look they're about 89 pounds i think um no we sell them and um yeah definitely worth considering if you want to come and try one by all means pop in so that's about it i think for this uh i'll get it built back up and um hit the trails i'm out on sunday not sure where we're going to go yet but it's nice, nice to get the miles in. I'm enjoying getting the miles in at the minute. Uh, yeah, catch you later.